your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Porkett. Hey there, Northeast Kansas. Happy Wednesday. Hope we find you and yours well this evening. We told you so. Not a cloud in the sky out there for now. But as our evening unfolds, the skies become a bit more cloudy. Those clouds increase into the overnight hours. But we're out west across the WeatherCam network for now, facing that eastern sky. Salt Creek Boulevard there in the background. A beautiful evening here in late March. Weather headlines for you. First and foremost, just kind of touched on this one, but the skies become a bit more cloudy as we head on into the evening. And overnight period. By the time you wake up tomorrow, maybe those clouds mean a pretty nice sunrise across the eastern sky. And we shake the clouds, temperatures start to warm, more sunshine on tap tomorrow afternoon. Then the skies become cloudy again later this week, heading into the upcoming weekend, specifically on Friday, with a chance for some much needed rain. Temperatures out there currently 50s up and down uh, Highway 75 and areas farther to the south and east. It is 57 in Topeka, Linden, Quinamo, even Emporia and Olpe. 60 in the Flint Hills between uh, Potawatomi, Wabunsee counties, even Riley, Geary, and portions of Morris County. 60 or 61 degrees uh, for tonight. Our KSNT satellite and radar. Notice our skies still showing uh, lots of blue. However, farther to the south and west, a lot more clouds down in Wichita and Pratt, Kansas, even as far west as Hayes, Kansas. Seeing some of those clouds this evening. All of that air is headed our direction. That's why I think at least partly cloudy skies will be the forecast for tonight. So your overnight planner by midnight, 42 degrees. There's that partly cloudy sky. By dawn tomorrow, partly cloudy to mostly clear. Kind of a cool start. No frost. A little bit too mild for that. But don't be surprised if the car thermometer reads temperatures in the mid to upper 30s when you head to work tomorrow morning. By lunchtime, so midday tomorrow, sunny and warm with temperatures midday approaching 65 degrees. And they're not stopping there. I think highs tomorrow, you'll see them here in a second, will be even warmer than today. KSNT future track temps. This is 11 p.m. tonight, so that's certainly a few hours from now, about six or seven hours from now. Temperatures fall through the 40s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Still the upper 30s, low to mid 40s out there. Overnight lows in the Flint Hills, a little bit more mild than everybody else. Then highs tomorrow afternoon, same kind of thing. Western communities, a little warmer, 70 or 71. Now, things change into the upcoming weekend. I've already alluded to it, but notice the clouds. We'll start future track tomorrow morning. This is Thursday early at about 7 or 8 a.m. Notice those skies trying to clear for some overnight clouds passing through. But by the time you wake up on Friday, it's all about the clouds. I don't think Friday looked that pretty outside, but the rain should hold off until the later stages of Friday heading into the upcoming weekend. In fact, by Saturday morning at 8 a.m., very thick clouds with a chance for some more rain. For tonight, a cool Cool night. Sky is becoming a bit more cloudy. 38 for an overnight low. You're probably safe if you have any potted plants outdoors, but it might be close. Certainly no widespread frost for tonight. Tomorrow, my pick of the week still 70 to 75 degrees. A little bit more breezy. Those south winds could gust about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Our 70 forecast not looking bad either. Temperatures this weekend, despite a couple distinct chances for rain, still above average. Our average high is 59, with high temperatures in the 60s for the weekend. Looks like to me, guys, at least the chance for rain almost every day, Friday through the early stages of next week. Won't be raining all the time, but we will have a chance for rain, which is uh, pretty nice. I guess that's pretty. You know, the farmers are going to love it. So just keep the umbrella handy. Keep the rain jacket handy. No doubt about it. And of course, it is Wednesday evening, and I think everyone knows what that means. It's time for KidCast.